a video clip where my friend, colleague and senior honorable John Mbadi is addressing the residents of uh, Homa Bay. I agree with him on some issues and I totally disagree with him on, on some of the issues that he has raised. And uh, I'm also quite surprised because I've always known uh, Honorable John Mbadi to be sober and even in how he articulates uh, his opinions. But I have just seen that he was so angry, he was so upset. I'm wondering Kwani, uh, what has really, really happened. And so I agree with him on, uh, on, on that it is important for us as a country to see how we work on the issues that have been raised by Kenyans, especially as leaders, and to earn the trust back that uh, we are in a space and a place where uh, we are committed uh, to change our ways and to also ensure that uh, we serve them in the manner that is good for the country. That is a conversation, I agree, that as a country we must have it um, in a manner that we are not destructive of, of uh, people's day-to-day -day activities, destructive of our economy, and, and I agree that uh, we have to get to a point where we then say we have heard, we have listened, and we are ready to do A, B, C, D, kindly give us time as we implement the things that uh, you have raised as Kenyans. That I totally agree with you, and I think that is what you're calling dialogue. Secondly, uh, I have had rumors in the corridor, uh, corridors that uh, in case uh, there will be a government of uh, unity, uh, you are one of the people from the Azimio coalition whose name will be proposed uh, as uh, one of the cabinet secretaries. On that as well, I do not doubt your capabilities and um, you know you being able uh, to deliver as a cabinet secretary. But uh, since it's a rumor, it's neither here or there. Now to the content of what <laughs> of the other issues that I disagree with you, Honorable Mbadi. It cannot possibly be as a country that we have to keep dragging His Excellency, the former president, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, in every conversation that is not good for this country. I mean, we, uh, we ran for elections, we lost as Azimio. Uh, His Excellency, the former president, had handed over power. We have seen other political intrigues. We have watched since uh, that time. Uh, we saw the wrangles in Jubilee Party and things like that. And, you know, we've just been quiet. Uh, letting uh, the owners, you know, of the party, you know, of those who won, uh, to, to deal with, with what they have to deal with. But now, when it comes to a member of our coalition attacking uh, His Excellency Uhuru, and I have seen it severally, and I have watched severally, coming from our side, where we are okay and happy with him when it suits us, and when it doesn't, we now start going out the way you have just done so angrily, uh, blaming him that he's the one who doesn't want dialogue, is the one who doesn't want the government of, uni uh, of national unity to be formed. And there are always rumors and speculations that I don't know who he has met in Dubai, that I don't know. I, I'm even wondering whether he moved to Dubai because everything is always that he met. I don't know who in Dubai. I don't know this is what he's planning. I don't know this is what he doesn't want for the country. I'm not speaking on his behalf, but I'm just saying that, uh, uh, Honorable Mbadi, the things that you have stated there, if you've been promised to be a cabinet secretary, please uh, use other ways um, to make sure that you, 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 you are named the cabinet secretary without dragging his name to, to why there's a delay or why that has, has not happened. Secondly, on that issue of always saying that he didn't make us win as Azimio, let us be fair. Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta came out publicly to support His Excellency uh, Prime uh, Minister Raila Odinga. He was actually hated, he was actually disowned by his community for supporting His Excellency Raila. He supported in every possible way that he could but we lost the elections. But it cannot be that every time we try to remember why we lost, 
we turn back and start bashing uh, Uhuru. Everybody has a share of the blame to, to carry. As a Zimio, we had to accept. We didn't have agents. Were we waiting for Uhuru to come and organize for us agents where we come from? The turnout from where some counties of the region where you come out, you, you come from, the turnout was very low. Was, was it also Uhuru who was to come and, and uh, whip people and mobilize people to come out and vote? Ayapana. Let us stick to the current issues that we are facing as a country. The issues of the past election are behind us. If we have to review so as to improve and to move forward, we can do it in an objective manner and on, not only when it suits us or when we say things that, that suit us or just